get a check of the morning's top stories with Veronica De La Cruz at the news desk. Good morning and Merry Christmas, Veronica. Well, good morning and Merry Christmas to you, Lester, and good morning, everyone. Christians around the world are celebrating the holiday. Here in New York, thousands of people attended Midnight Mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Similar services were held across the country and around the world. NBC's Duncan Golestani has more from our London Bureau. Duncan, good morning to you. Good morning, Veronica. Veronica. Happy Christmas. Yes, it's a time for celebration and for thinking about family members who can't be at home. Here in Britain, the royals are without Prince Philip after he spent a second night in hospital recovering from a minor heart operation. One family missing a loved one on Christmas Day, the royal family. Thousands came to wish them well as they attended church without Prince Philip. After lunch, family members will visit him in hospital. In Rome, the Pope gave his traditional message to the world and prayed for peace. Last night, he urged worshippers to look beyond the glitter of the festive season for the true meaning of Christmas. Around the world, people are celebrating in their own ways, from the sunshine of Sydney, Australia, to Santa in the sand in India. And in Afghanistan, midnight mass for U.S. troops. It's sad being away from my family at Christmas, but it's nice being here with all my uh, brothers and sisters in the armed services. I just want to wish everybody back home in Seattle and in Florida a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year as well. Far from home, but in everyone's thoughts. So big crowds turning out for the royal family's traditional visit to church, not least to catch sight of Princess Kate on her first Christmas. And of course, the crowds wishing Prince Philip well, Charles told one of the members there that his dad was doing well and was very determined. Veronica. Duncan Golestani in London, thank you so much and Merry Christmas to you. A developing story out of Nigeria this morning. An explosion ripped through a Catholic church during Christmas Mass near the capital, killing at least 25 people. A second explosion went off later near another church, raising fears that a radical Muslim sect is to blame. And now to Russia, where tens of thousands protested in the streets of Moscow yesterday, demanding that Prime Minister Vladimir Putin step down. They're receiving support from former President Mikhail Gorbachev, who resigned as president of the Soviet Union 20 years ago today. And finally, you can't see enough of these pictures. Iraq veterans coming home for the holiday pulling off one more secret mission by surprising their families. Now let's get a check of the national forecast. Showers and thunderstorms across the south today with snow in the Texas Panhandle. Scattered snow showers in New England and the Great Lakes with highs in the 30s. Here is your local forecast. Good morning, everyone, and a very Merry Christmas to you. I'm meteorologist Raphael Miranda. Quiet and cool on this Christmas day, some sunshine and clouds, a cold start, but later on today, we're back into the 40s, a bit of a breeze as well. So you probably wanna bring the hats, gloves, and scarves outside. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy and cold, down to 36 in the city. We could see a spotty shower, maybe even a flurry with the cold front coming through. For tomorrow, lots of sunshine, but brisk and breezy, 46 for your high temperature. Next chance of rain will be Tuesday night into Wednesday. And that is the news. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's send it back to Lester. All right, Veronica, thanks very much. Now to politics. The business